Well, thank you very much, Mr. Chancellor, honored guests and colleagues, friends, graduates. Good afternoon to you all. I want to welcome you all very warmly to this convocation for graduates in the School of Graduate Studies, Arts and Science, Engineering and Applied Science. Not only is today a celebratory day for all of us in the Queen's family, this is also graduation season throughout the Canadian university community. And everywhere in this country, talented and accomplished people like today's Queen's graduates are reflecting on their past achievements and eagerly anticipating the futures that lie ahead of them. Our national association, Universities Canada, is rightly celebrating this moment for our country as we begin, perhaps a little cautiously, to renew and to rebuild our communities after two extraordinary and unprecedentedly disrupted years. What is being celebrated is not merely the resumption of the world order prevailing at the start of 2020, but rather the beginning of something new. I read recently a research report that suggested people like yourselves are using the pandemic's reality shift as an opportunity to make major life changes, to rethink values and behaviors that before the pandemic might have seemed effectively immutable. Your university profoundly supports you in the hopes and aspirations for a better world that you nurture today. Consider the degree to which our merely being able to assemble in this arena is to be remarked upon and valued in a new way. As veterans of that COVID-19 disruption, you know intimately the extent to which simply being able to come together in a space like this now carries a special significance it would not have had before the pandemic. And that is not to say that any of us would ever have taken convocation for granted, but it does speak to the new value that we all find in togetherness, in community, having learned over the last two years about the unnaturalness and the mental and emotional strain of enforced isolation. Today, the arena is decorated for an academic celebration. But not so long ago, as many of you will recall, it was fitted out as a COVID testing center for the Kingston community. And this is significant and worth pausing to consider. We are here today to celebrate your personal academic success at the same site in which the community has very recently sought to protect and enhance the health and well being of all its members. And this is a confluence which speaks to a very fundamental aspect of the mission of the university, which is to realize the potential of individuals while simultaneously being committed to building a just, equitable, prosperous, and sustainable society, one to which all in their own way contribute and from which all in their own way benefit. My request of today's graduates is to please remember both dimensions of what is involved in this convocation. Celebrate, please, your personal and individual successes. You've definitely earned the right to do that. But also, think about those successes in the context of the greater good, of the role you might play in building and advancing the communities of which you are all a part. Begin close to home, because none of us succeeds without the support of friends and family. And then think about your future and the ways in which you might contribute to the good of society, locally as well as globally, and to the fortunes and future of our planet. I would have issued the same challenge to you before the pandemic. But as I said at the outset, we are now much more acutely aware of the fragility of things we might once have taken for granted. The lesson of COVID-19 has been a chastening one bringing home the realization of how much we do not know that could bring the health and well-being of our entire species into question. 
We have learned more also about the mysterious symbiosis of body and mind, and therefore about the role of the human and social sciences in physical well-being. And we also find ourselves at a moment in history when the very idea of expertise, the idea of peace, order, and good government is being called into question, when civility and the rule of law is increasingly assailed around the globe. And every day, we are confronted by evidence that the physical world we inhabit is changing in ways that only the resources of every academic discipline working together will enable us to address. All of which is to say that this convocation is a very special one. You are graduating from programs that have equipped you in different ways exceptionally well to have a positive and direct impact in the world. And more than in many years, you are graduating sensitized to our vulnerability as both physical and social beings. That sensitivity, tied as it is to your talent, to your imagination, your ingenuity, and your determination to succeed, gives us all great hope and immense pride. My warmest congratulations and all best wishes to you for your and for our future. Thank you very much.